Hey folks, Sylvius here, back on the video on Sylvius. Now I'm going to be doing a raid here. Um, unlike all the quests I've done have been allowed for, uh, have allowed a maximum of six people to join. The hirelings I summon count as a, uh, a person, so if all of us were going to bring hirelings it would only allow three players plus their three hirelings and so on. Um, and I don't think you can have repeats of the same hireling. Anyway, raids allow for 12 people to go in them. Um, in DDO, most raids have a timer, which means you can only do it once every three days. You can't just keep farming the raid. I don't know how that works in other games. I'm actually kind of enjoying this guy over here. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, the downside to the raids are, besides them being tougher and having stronger bosses and all that stuff, you cannot bring hirelings into them, uh, which vastly limits the types of raids that I can solo. So I'll be doing the Chronoscope raid, which is a level 6 raid, and I'll be doing it on normal because I probably can't do it on a higher difficulty. I tested this out uh, three days ago, and it was pretty rough. Anyway, this was the place, the very place where my boy, Nat Gan, performed for the crowds. That was before he disappeared in the Devil Invasion. What Devil Invasion was that? Oh, years ago. Devils from the plains of Shavarath attacked Stormreach. It was terrible. Terrible. No one knew what the devils were after, but they destroyed large parts of Stormreach to get it. While the marketplace we're standing in was devastated. The merchants have only recently finished rebuilding it. And then there were all the lives the devils took. Oh, my poor son. My poor Nat. <clears throat> uh, for anybody who remembers, just for the record, when I did the, um, the Three Barrel Cove wilderness area, the... Um, top of the bazaar from the marketplace was blown all the way there. I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, it's not only my lost son that's troubling me. My remaining child, Nelagan, has never given me up searching for her brother. Now she's found some sort of archaeologist who says he can find Nat. Who knows what misadventures that charlatan is taking my little Nella on. I would feel better if she had some powerful friends watching her back. Say, you look like a capable monk. Would you like, would you take employment as Nelagan's bodyguard? We guns are quite wealthy and can compensate you handsomely. You can take an airship to the Chronoscope excavation. That's where Nella will be. Tell me about your lost son. Nekgan refused to go into the family business. When he was a boy, he juggled and cartwheeled around. Gan Manor simply to make our servants laugh. Then he began performing here in the marketplace for the common crowds. I'm afraid I could not tolerate such a plebeian vocation for my son. I banished Nat from my house. I was angry at him, but then Nat disappeared in the devil invasion. Oh, I was such a fool. But I wouldn't give to see Nat one more time, to tell him how proud I am of him. Alright. So we're going to pick up the quest. Alright. So the chronoscope we're going to is actually um, located in another wilderness area called uh, Giant Hold. But we're going to go to like a weird dimensional version of it or something like that. That has no real relation to the one there. But the, the structure we're in is going to be identical to another structure that actually exists in the game. So here's the quest. I could go in on higher difficulties, and it also has epic difficulties, of which I definitely can't do. I will be going in on normal, because I definitely probably can't handle any of the other difficulties uh, solo. That said, from the Morgrave University's archives, the Chronoscope. You at the Chronoscope excavation site. Nell Gan is here somewhere, but can this place truly help her find her brother, or is she being deceived? Uh, the Chronoscope was built on a convergence line with the Outer Plains. It represents the height of giant civilization, or at least a decent example of their borrowing from Argonus influences. Alright. Watch a step. Anyway, welcome to Miss Gan. Welcome, Miss Gan is ahead in the Chronoscope. So this is the structure. Look what the supply ship brought in. You should check in with Miss Gan up the ramp. Professor Tremis, archaeologist. Nelagan, her bodyguard, Retcon, and uh, the navigator, Caratrix. Caratrix has to say, Our purpose is to assess Nelagan with activating the chronoscope. What are you lot doing here? I wasn't expecting guests. Ne Miss Nelagan is charged here. You should speak with her. My word, who are you? Oh, please excuse my manners. I'm Nelagan of Stormreach Gan's family. Welcome to our excavation camp. And ask what you brings here? Miss Nell, your father employed us to protect you. <coughs> I love my dad, but he worries so. Dad doesn't approve of my search for my brother, but I know in my heart that he still lives. Still, if you work for my father, then you're welcome to accompany me. Professor Tremis has finally deciphered the temple's runes. It allows us to open a portal to wherever we wish, and I wish to go to my brother, Nat Gan. 
Farewell. I'll speak with this Professor Tramis. Melgan smiles at you and turns to speak to the others. These adventurers are friends of my father's. We should begin the ritual to find my brother as soon as they're ready, Professor Tremus. Alright. Are you ready for me to activate the chronoscope? I will be manipulating ancient powers of cosmic significance. The slightest error could open a rift to Zoriat. Summon one of the Lords of Doster, simply disintegrate us all. Once we begin, the ritual cannot be interrupted. Yes, we are ready. Now, if you say this, by the way, the quest goes, and anybody who isn't in is not joining. Professor Tremus gleefully turns to the nightmarish Mind Flayer. Keratrix, begin channeling Nelgan's thoughts into the chronoscope. Now, Miss Nell, this is very important. Think back to the last time you saw your brother. Yes, that was in Stormreach. He was performing at his favorite spot by the Pawn Exchange, the day the Devil Army attacked. The Devils overwhelmed us. People were panicking, trying to flee. And I lost sight of Nat. Oh, Nat, where did you go? Nell and her companions vanished into a portal. Before you can follow, a green creature appears out of nowhere and sneers, All right, boys. Tiefling's orders had to kill the squid face and anyone else left here. Tieflings and bearded devils. This is what we call an ambush. Luckily, I was able to uh, hit him with a banishment trick, so that's the end of him. All of the, uh, like, assistants and, you know, storage people. Tieflings in disguise. Who am I missing? Who, you're who I'm missing. There we go. Am I... With a blood-curdling scream, the last of Bazdor's crew is dispatched. It appears Caratrix survived their attack. The Mind Flayer yes, struggles wondering. to its feet. Mind Flayer. A plot. Betrayal. The entity known as Professor Tremis sought to destroy us. We shall open another portal for you so that the... You may follow Nell again and follow Tremis's machinations. All right, let me search. Do do. Um, the Morgrave University archives. Ancient fables speak of the Chronoscope teleporting giant armies across Zendric during the Dreaming Dark Wars, but the Dragons of Argonus forbid any further use of the, as a danger to the Draconic prophecy. It's unclear what threat such teleportation poses to the pro prophecy. This sewer entrance is sealed by powerful wards. You cannot enter without help. You'll note that I'm in the marketplace currently. Is this... is this the Stormreach marketplace? You hear the sounds of pillage and slaughter. The last time Stormreach was attacked was the Devil Invasion years ago. Where did you come from, friend? I thought I knew all the survivors in this little outpost. Is this Stormreach? Yes, of course, this is Stormreach. Do you crawl out of a sewer or something? No, never mind. Forget I asked. Look, I'm rather busy here. But with holding up this portal to keep the devils uh, from killing us all. Go talk to here if you need something. You can go through the Rusty Nail Tavern and take the magical door to get to him. Actually, I want to talk to him. What's this barrier? Oh, is that a demon? No, not a demon. It's a devil. Why do people keep confusing them? Where did you come from, anyhow? No, never mind. Forget I asked. Yeah, same thing at this point. Just in case you're wondering, demons are chaotic evil. Devils are lawful evil. During the devil attack on the old Stormreach market, a lone wizard of the Twelve was able to keep the fiends out of the Rusty Nail Tavern, saving the lives of those who took refuge there. Later, that wizard became Grandmaster of the Twelve. A mystical doorway floats against the east wall of the tavern. Whoever created it may be powerful enough to help you find Nell Gan. Nights like this, I wish the barkeep wasn't out of stock. I came here looking for adventure, but this isn't, uh, this is more than anyone bargained for. I'm not going out there. They don't pay me enough to get killed. Let the Twelve handle this. This mess is above my pay grade. Alright. The dimension door leads to Vahir over at the outpost of the Twelve. Down below you is the marketplace, now a war zone in the midst of a devil invasion. At the center is a huge red tent, but it is not the tent you remember. Something strange is happening there. You can see, like, one of the towers was shot down. Damage all around. Like, rubble. Everything's all, like, busted up. <laughs> There's a barrier around the main thing there. And then that's the, uh, the old tent. And if you look at the top, that's that thing from the Three Barrel Cove. 
Who are you? Why haven't you been evacuated yet? I'm looking for a girl named Nella Gan. Nella, I know the girl well. Her father is an influential person here in Stormreach. I thought she and her father left the city when the first devils appeared, but when I saw her again a few hours ago, she was being escorted by a man calling himself Professor Tremis. I know all the academics in Stormreach, and I've never heard of this Tremis before. It was rather suspicious, but I was too busy with the devil attack to investigate. Tremis is working for the devils. He set a group of them to attack us right before we came here. I need to save Nelagon from him. If you wish to find Nelagon, then you must brave the devil army and search for her in the marketplace. Hmm. I see the clash with devil forces does not frighten you in the least. Farewell. Head back through the Rusty Nail Tavern and out to the marketplace. Speak to Delvaran Iranti. He shall lower the barrier. Can I get to the marketplace from here? If you drop the barrier, I can jump down. There are Abashi flying around down there. If we drop the shield... Uh, there's an Abashi, by the way. They're starting to attack. I'm sorry, but I cannot risk our lives to rescue one person. But if you can get to the marketplace by taking the dimension door back to the rusty nail. In the alleyway outside, speak to that dude. Questions. Can you give me aid? He hits you with a whole bunch of spells. They'll last for 30 minutes. He has some other questions. Or I have some other questions. What can you tell me about the devils? The devil army is made of tieflings, bearded devils, and the abashai. Tell me about tieflings. Tieflings almost look human, except for their horns and glowing red eyes. They are half fiends. That's half devils to the layman. The other half is human. They're somewhat resistant to fire and electricity, but otherwise they're just as easy to kill as one of us. But it's important to remember that they're well trained as foot soldiers in the devil army, so they'll be tougher than some quick foot thug in the alley. Let's discuss the other devils. Bearded devils. They make up the backbone of the devil army. Bearded devils are resistant to physical weapons. To counter this, you must use... Your weapons must either be silver or some type of divine or good aligned trait. A paladin's holy sword does wonders against them, but they're completely immune to fire and poison, and they can teleport, so fleeing from them is difficult. Abashai. Those are the devils flying about the market. Abashai are very dangerous. They're resistant to physical weapons, except those that are holy or good aligned. I'm afraid that silver isn't as effective against them as other devils. There are different types of Abashai with different abilities. The red Abashai are flying around in force right now. They will attack you with fire and are immune to it. Ah, uh, da 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 da. That's a different tent than the one that's usually in the center of the marketplace. What's happening over there? What are you talking about? That's the tent that's always been there. I understand. You're talking about the devil magic surrounding it. The devils appear to be brewing some terrible magic ritual in the tent. Or more accurately, in the subterranean caverns beneath the tent. You don't... We don't know what their purpose is, but we're trying to find a solution. Alright. Underneath the marketplace is a wilderness area that's also a raid area, so you can't bring hirelings into it. So I haven't really explored it much. Um... It's called the Subterranean. There's actually two sections of the Subterranean. Oh, just pointing out before I continue my talk. You can buy some potions and wands, and you can buy flame touch weapons here. The flame touch weapons can be made, uh, like, craftable if you need them. They'll help you bypass the damage reduction. But I'm a monk, and I don't use those things. Anyway, in the Subterranean is a raid. I forget what it's called. Um, in it, though, you fight the Devil general of this tack. Uh, general Solomates. He's a named horned devil. Um, he led this attack and then was left in the subterranean trying to do some kind of ritual. In that raid, you fight Solomates. The here instructed me to give you access to the market. Listen, before I drop this barrier and you all get your, uh, and get all you killed, make sure you have the right weapons for fighting devils. That's the Abashi and Bearded Devils. Use good aligned weapons such as pure good, holy, flame touched, or blessed. Don't try fire or poison, they don't work well in devils. Oh, and many devils can teleport, so don't think you can just run away from them. Luckily, tieflings are only half fiends, so they're not as tough as the full line ones. Ah, uh, don't worry about my party, we're ready to fight the devils. Alright. Again, the bearded devils uh, are considered, like, full on outsiders, and as such, I can uh, dismiss them. I'm actually going to see what the tiefling here is. I'm trying to, at least. Native outsider, yeah. So I can't banish them, and I don't think they take the extra damage from all of my smite stuff. Okay. So just to point out real quick, this quest is really long, and I'm not going to do it all in one video. I'm going to split it into two. The first part, there's like three bosses I'm going to need to fight. Blood pay, Razor Arm, and then the final boss. Uh, the first part of the video is going to be up to Blood Pit, Blood Plate, including me killing him. Then the second video will be the remainder. The reason for that is this uh, first part here involves me reducing the Devil Ground Legions, 35 of them, and also breaking the whole bunch of boxes so I can get my uh, bonus EXP. Uh, reducing the air, the Devil Air Legions, and rescuing the 15 Stormreach Defenders. Uh, because I, you know, have limited healing capacity here, that was the teleport, by the way. 
yes, because I have limited... Uh, oh, look, we found two of the adventures. Revived. You saved my life, thank you. I'm gonna find some place safe to hide. Some of them will hide, some of them will teleport. It doesn't really matter which. He's hiding also. They're kind of a pain to find, just throwing that out there. We got an Abashi there. Did that hit the... Okay, good, it didn't hit the thing. Fortunately, they're immune to the fire damage. And um, if they don't want to come out of the air, they're pretty tough to kill. Luckily, I can just bring them down this way. There we go. So yeah, though, because I don't have a good healing ability, I'm going to try to like play it safe a little bit, and uh, definitely not using my vicious the hand wraps. That would be terrible. The you from entering the tent this way. If you want to go inside, you'll need to find another way in. Oh, I don't have enough key for that. I just jumped down for no reason. I tried the stunning fist. Because if you hit him with a stunning fist, they usually fall out of the air. Also, if you just deal enough damage to him, they also fall out of the air. For the most part, the Tieflings and the Abashai will keep just respawning at various spots. Um, so you can definitely get, like, bajillions and bajillions of kills. Um, I don't really see any kind of reason why you would want to do that. Um, I'm just gonna charge. Whatever. Dismissed. That, uh, that ability makes this quest a lot easier, by the way. So, while I'm kind of going around, I'm also looking for the, uh, the Stormreach Defenders. The best way to do that is just simply, while you're running around, keep pushing the, uh, the Q button. Because the Q button selects, like, the next target. It does have, like, a minimum range, so it's not like you can see all over the place, but it's better than nothing. Pick up this rumble, too, while I'm at it. Um. <clears throat> yeah. You can't go through any of this. This takes you to the House Jorosko, if you were able to go through it. We got another bearded devil. Who's now not here anymore. You're dead. Alright. I have to kill six of the Air Legion Abashai and 20 of the ground forces. Several of the people you need to rescue are kind of hidden in annoying spots. Just want to point that out. Wow. These, uh, the bearded devils also are, like, moderately tough. Like, have a decent amount of HP, I guess is what I'm saying. As you can kind of see. Well, turn him into Jade, so it's all good. On the upside, now I can use him to mine key and health. So this worked out pretty well for me. Yeah, like I was saying though, the Stormreach Adventurers are pretty well hidden. What is he? Oh, he's a Warforged of some form. I was like, what kind of armor was he wearing? Uh, I just hit the wrong button. That's annoying. There we go. Do do. As a monk, uh, my solo ability is really good, at least as a light monk, because I've got a lot of self-healing. Um, and worst case scenario, there we go. See, like, look, he's hidden underneath the bridge. She. Worst case scenario is I can use my, um, that was close, time to use my teleport trinket. My wholeness of body to heal myself. It's on a pretty long cooldown. Well, it's on, like, a... Uh, it doesn't tell me. Well, it's on a decent cooldown, so I mean, I can't repeatedly use it, and it also takes a little bit of time for the healing to actually, like, kick in. Um, so it's definitely not something I would use when it's, like, you know, immediate fight mode, but it's better than nothing. We've got some tiefling assassins. He teleported behind me right there, in case you guys didn't notice. Yeah, they're basically impossible to run away from, too. Just throwing that out there. Like, you're not going to be able to lose him, but if he's killing you and you need to get away from him, you can probably manage to pull that off. But you're definitely not going to just, like, lose him. Hiding in the bushes. Cleric of some form? Dwarf cleric. Taking a nap there on the sewers. Alright. That's House Filarin. 
That's a pile of rubble. Those are some boxes for me to break. That's a drow archer. <laughs> drow, drow. I don't really know, to be honest. I don't know. House beneath. All right, we're back in an area I've already been. Just throwing that out there. Still, I just want to make sure I didn't hit any, or I didn't miss anybody. Some tieflings. Ah, stupid magic missile attack. All right, I'm not seeing anybody in here. House Jorosko again. Vanished. Get rid of, uh, get rid of him. No, stop attacking the bearded devil. Stop attacking the bearded the devil. The legion's ground assault has been significantly blunted due to your efforts. <sighs> Alright, who's casting spells with me? You're casting spells with me. And we've got an Abasha out there, too. Oh, boy. Where's my little throwing star? Alright, I can further turn the tide of battle against the Devil Incursion by killing 55 of their ground forces again. Yeah, I figured he was out of my range. Too bad. Alright, back to the hand reps. House Kundarak, 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 I don't really know. And then the, uh, down here where I already went is, um, the Catacombs. Are you shooting at me? Who are you and what are you doing? Alright, we've got... I'm not seeing anybody, any defenders that need rescuing. And then this is back to the Chronoscope Portal and the Rusty Nail Tavern. This is where the uh, Pawn Breakers were and where I picked up the quest from uh, the father. Stormreach Adventurer. You look like a wizard. Or a sorcerer at least. And you look like a fighter of some form. Alright, and I've got an Abashi attacking me from somewhere. I thought. Right up there. Okay, I do. I'm gonna loop around this way to him, though. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Alright. I definitely boshed my, uh, whatever. I wanna get rid of these assassins because they're gonna sneak attack me for tons of damage. That said, I'm mostly immune to sneak attacks, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, but I'm not a hundred percent. I think when you have, like, fortification, um, the way it works is the enemy's, like, challenge rating is subtracted from whatever your fortification is. So if you have, like, fortification 20, I think this is how it works. If you have fortification 20, um, and then the enemy's, like, CR 20, uh, you effectively have no fortification. So I have 100% fortification. That leads me to the harbor, by the way. Uh, but these guys have CRs that at least aren't zero. So they have some chance of hitting me. So at least I'm pretty sure that's how that works. I could be wrong, to be honest. Somebody's shooting at me. From very far away, so I'm just going to ignore them. Yeah, well, found one of the adventures over there. I'm gonna go up this way first, though. Most of the adventurers, just so you're aware, are on the uh, the ground floor. Um, not too many of them are up in the uh, like on the roofs or anything like that. But some of them might be. So if you have a hard time finding them, you'll know where they're at. Also, I would like to point out too that. Um, if you do this on higher difficulties, a lot of times people just run past everything to get to where they need to go, which is the uh, the tavern right over there. The Phoenix Tavern is where you ultimately need to go. Just trying to draw him towards me. He'll just immediately tell. Ooh, wow, they both tell. Alright, that's not cool. Congratulations, you're a statue. Congratulations, you're not here in this plane of existence any longer. <laughs> Look, there's another one down there. I am getting beat up a little bit more than I would like to be right now. 
There we go. Get myself up a little bit. Haha. -ha. So one of the actual nice things about devils, though, is that you can teleport them to you like that. And really good at for just drawing small groups of them to you and stuff like that. Stupid uh, spellcaster dude. Oh, and I missed him. That's awesome. As long as he didn't uh, hit me with a magic missile. I was going to be kind of annoyed if he had hit me with a magic missile. Kill the spellcasters before they magic missile me. You're dismissed. Ah, he made a save against my stun. That's too bad. But not his save against my turning him into a statue. Alright, this mailbox... Um, when people run past it, this mailbox doesn't always hit. But if you can, you should try to hit it. There we go, mailbox acquired. I still gotta go find... How many... Five more defenders? Are you kidding me? Phoenix Tavern... Where? Ah! Found two of them down here. Are you teleporting or are you hiding? You're hiding. Are you hiding or teleporting? You're teleporting. Tiefling Assassin. Stormreach City Guard. Teleporting or hiding? Hiding. Halfling rogue, it looks like. I assume, yeah, I was gonna say that if the halfling rogue doesn't hide, I'm gonna be a little upset. Bunch of boxes. Uh, and I only have one more. Oh, there's the final defender. I have to say, the last time I did this quest. You have rescued a considerable number of Stormreach defenders. Their presence will make a critical difference in the battles to come. The last time I did this, it took me much longer to find them. Oh, hey, look, there's like some extra ones. That's interesting. Well, that makes me feel even worse about myself, considering that I had such a difficulty uh, finding them. You're stunned. Feed me key. Still, I gotta kill 30 of them and take out the Abasha. Ooh, where'd you come from? Well, wherever you was, go back to there. Actually, surprisingly, having a difficult time finding the Abasha. Stunned. Feed me the key. There we go. And your turn. There we go. Just uh, throwing this out there, too. Abasha I found. You don't really run into too many devils until much higher levels. Oh, jeez. And I've got a stupid. Arcanus attacking me, apparently. Come on. That was inconvenient. And the Abasha is still alive. Not for much longer, it's not. Bearded Devil. We'll just banish him. You've been banished. You've been punched in the face. Which is a lot different when I'm a monk. Being punched in the face is actually ultra deadly for people. Although to be fair, I do some kicking too. Uh. Banished. Stunned. Key generating. Do uh, you suck. Ugh. My full HP. One more Abashai, 13 more ground forces. Oh, I didn't even realize that was there. Uh, that that Abashai is in the uh, the barrier. I can't get that one. The Devil's Barrier prevents you from entering the tent this way. If you want to go inside, you'll need to find another way in. That, I'm pretty sure, will pop up the every time I try to do that. Barrier prevents you from, the Devil's Barrier prevents you from entering the tent this way. If you want to go inside, you'll need to... The Devil's Barrier prevents you from entering the tent That's sort of annoying, I suppose. If you want to go inside, you'll need to find another right, way where in. is my remaining Abashai? And why is my, like, movement waking out like that? Oh, I'm pretty sure I just heard a fireball. Abashai found. And you 
are dead now. Oh, are you kidding me? You're not dead? I knocked him down and then he fell out of my line of sight. I gotta get him up on that tower. Uh, even after I kill all the Abashai, they will continue to respawn just for their good. Hey, look, I found another defender. Teleporting or hiding? Teleporting. Where's my Abashai? Really, where is my Abashai? Also, go away. Ah, oh, did I lose the Abashai somehow? The Devil's Barrier prevents you from entering the tent this way. If you want to go inside, you'll need to Those dudes are Orthons, way. by the way. You'll fight them a lot later on. In fact, two of the bosses the I'll be fighting here are Orthons themselves. The this way. If you want to go inside, you'll need to find another way. Orthons can be sort of annoying. Uh, they're the pretty powerful. They have rapid-fire repeating crossbows built into their arms. If you arms. want to go inside, you'll need to find another way in. Um, they're, like, potent melee combatants. Like most devils, they teleport. Um, they also, when you hit them, maggots shoot out of their bodies and stuff like that. And I think they carry disease. So they do suck in that sense. Uh -oh. Dungeon Alert Green is not good. Battle, thinning the Devil Legions enough for the city to handle the rest. Ah, found my Abashai. He did, however, fully heal himself before I managed to get back to him. Can I dismiss him? Let's dismiss him. Wait, even better. Turn him to Jade. I love that ability. Alright, and we will go kill Blood Plate now. You have decimated the Devil's Flying Legions. Only a few Abishai stragglers remain. Now I'm going to just casually uh, ignore these things. They will not follow you into a loading instance, just for the record. I am, however, going to heal there myself. There are Abishai in here, but strangely, they do not attack. One of them sneers at you. Master Trinus is expecting you. He has ordered me not to kill you. Yet. Alright. Vitter, I think, is either a blue or a white Abashai. I can't really tell, to be honest. Um, there should be all the various Abashai in here somewhere. That's Nox. He's a green Abashai. There should be a... There's, um... Abashai are the devil servants of Tiamat, That's at least they're normal. Behind the, barrier. the devils appear to be interrogating him about something. That's an Aranese, by the way. Succubi are demons, not devils. It's an Orthon. These pathetic mortals play their music for Master Tremis' entertainment. Har har har. I've been playing for hours. This is ridiculous. How long do the devils expect us to play? Can't stop dancing. Please, you have to save Miss Nell. Can't stop singing. My fingers are getting worn to the bone. Perhaps I can break my instrument. No, this enchantment is not allowing me. I am helpless. I thought there was um, all of the Abashai in here somewhere. Oh, well, there's one of them. Tervis is the fire Abashai. Red one. Tiamat's, anyway, Tiamat's a five-headed dragon god. Uh, she's lawful evil. Drek is the um, black dragon one. And then somewhere around here, there should be a white dragon one. Eh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, Tiamat's, like, her realm is in, I think, the Nine Hells. I'm not sure how it works in Eberron. But anyway, her servants are the Abashai that are each of the evil colored chromatic dragons. Black, white, blue, green, and uh, red. So we talked to the Professor. I can't believe it. I finally managed to travel into the past, taking advantage of the Devil's attack on the Lord Smark Bank in order to steal the Gan deposit box. And now that I have it, I find it's locked. What? Are those horns on your head? When did you become a tiefling? Fool, I've always been a tiefling. But don't be disappointed in yourself. I've become very good at disguising myself as human over the years. Years that I spent researching and obsessing over a way to return to this moment in history. But let's keep on track, shall we? I want you to do something for me, and in return I will release Nelagon. 
All right, you scum. What do you want from me? The evil Tremus begins laying down his demands for Nelgan's life. You will go to the bank of Kondarek, to their Lord's March branch just next door. There, you must acquire the key to the Gan's deposit box. I don't care what you have to do to get it. Bring the key back to me, and Nelgan might, just might, live to grow into a dirty old woman. Just one more thing. You might run into a muscle-brained devil named Bloodplate. He's the aggressive type. <laughs> Good luck, fools. Alright, so, we're going to the bank. The bank is literally right over here. In here is Bloodplate. Bloodplate is an Orthon. He's a raid boss, which means his name is going to be Purple. He's really tough. He also has a gimmick. We're going to go in and I'll show you the gimmick. That's him up there. The Shavrath armors will hit him and actually, they will actually heal him by hitting him. High atop a platform in the bank lobby. Tiefling armors nail metal plates directly onto a huge devil. It sees you and bellows, This bank is closed! Leave or your lives will be withdrawn! Um, so yeah, he will keep teleporting back up there to get healed up a little bit. Um, Orthons, by the way, like, their armor is actually built into their bodies. They can't take their armor off. That's why they, uh, they explode in maggots when they die. Because they're, like, literally decaying. As, uh, as enjoyable as that is, I'm sure. Oh, look, I'm diseased. So yeah, blood plate here. You'll deal damage to him and he'll, the stuff that's on him will kind of explode. Uh, and then he'll teleport away and repeat the process over and over. Yeah, see his little chest plate broke. There we go. And now he teleports away. I should give you a moment to consider your Whatever. doom. My smiths! I'll need replacements! He will send a second wave of people that will spawn up here, and then another wave will spawn on the other side. It's best to try to, uh, like, preempt one group so that way you don't have the full effect of both groups at the same time. The, uh, the armorers aren't too bad. By the way, like, this quest is obviously a lot easier if you're not trying to solo it like I am. And there should be another Arcanist somewhere. Where'd the Arcanist go? Well, we'll just go focus on Blue Plate. And you can see he actually has the crossbow built into his arm. That is, in fact, an actual crossbow. Do. You smashed my glorious banner. No. Get rid of the uh, bearded devil. There we go. Get rid of that before that hurts me. Did blood plate go back up? My armor. My he did. All right. I'll need replacements. Once again, I'm gonna go preempt this side. Oh come on! <laughs> I just barely managed to not get him. This is uh, probably kind of hard to see what's going on. And I agree, it's pretty hard to tell what's going on. Oh, and then I stunned the wrong one. Great. These, uh, the armorers, by the way, are teeth. Just throwing them out there. I return to the fray. Without him, though. Do, 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 do. Yeah, you see how I'm, like, very slowly whittling him down? Immune to acid damage, which is a shame. Also immune to fire. And I can't tell if I'm dealing any damage to him with my uh, energy attacks. My armor, my Again, spirit. up we go. I need replacements. Come on. There we go. I knew the other wave was here. Too bad he made a save. Do, do. Thank god I successfully stunned that one. Uh, enemies that are stunned not only don't attack me, but they also take additional damage from all of my attacks. 
which is why it's wonderful when you stun them successfully. And blood plates back down here. You just crippling hit me, that's kind of annoying. <sighs> yeah, I think he's immune to electrical damage, too. No, no, he's not immune to electrical damage. He is, however, I know, immune to um, fire damage. All devils are immune to fire damage. That's actually an interesting fact, though, by the way. All devils are immune to fire damage, but not all demons. You can see he's lost most of his armor at this point. Uh, you don't really... I mean, it may have changed since I played last, but there's not really that many demons that you normally run into in this game. Wow. A strength hit of five was annoying. Ugh. I'm like splitting my damage perfectly amongst all of them. Which is definitely not what I want to ever do. Alright, good thing I stunned him. Yeah, the uh, him being helpless also increases all damage sources. So, in addition to my just normal strikes, it also increases the damage of my um, like elemental stuff and all that jazz. Alright, Blood Plate's dead. See, he exploded maggots. And maggots the mighty blood Disease, maggot slumps to the floor. Before its death, the fiend chokes Red at one final You've been curse. diseased and may soon suffer to short strength damage. Will fall Nail chewing day. maggots. The fiendish maggots that fill an Orthon's body have vicious appetite and can chew iron. Ouch, ouch. And you have become diseased and may soon suffer additional constitution damage. So, we got some loot. Ooh, hey, name stuff. Infested armor. An Orthon warrior's body is crawling with hungry maggots that feed on its wounds. The suit of armor crafted from the salvaged parts of an Orthon's protective gear is similar in fest that it may impart a disease to those who attack the wearer. Enchanted, spell resistance, fortification 20, and disease guard. This item carries the maggot plague disease, which deals 1 to 6 constitution damage and may be contracted by enemies that hit you. A successful fortitude save will negate this effect. Cool. It's always cool getting a named item. Thank the sovereign host you came along. That huge blood plate wanted to loot this bank. I don't know how much longer this booth would have held up if you hadn't killed him. You're welcome, but I need the key to the Gan's deposit box. Nella Gan's life depends on it, and I promised her father I would protect her. I'm not supposed to hand out deposit box keys. Oh, why not? You saved my life. And if you're trying to save Nella, then I'm sure that Nolan Gan won't object. Here, take the key to the Gan deposit box. You have the deposit box key. Now, to return to the Phoenix Tavern and trade it for Nell Gan's life. Alright, I will end this video after I return the key to him. Alright, also, while I'm doing that, I want to take a look. Breakables, zero, and aggression is all I've gotten so far. <laughs> Shrine's over there if you need it, by the way. He's gone. you also note that the Abashai are gone. Miss Nell's fate is in your hands. The enchantment's beginning to wear off, but I fear my bandmates are already worn beyond their endurance. Professor Tremis. Do you have the key to the gun deposit box yet? I have the key right here. Now release Nell again. eagerly takes the key and unlocks the deposit box. At last, I have it. The weapon that I travel back in time for. The sliver of time. I shall return Nell Gan to you as a dying old woman. Ah, that's better. Now that I have stolen her youth for myself, I'm headed for the market tent, where I shall kill General Sulamanis with the sliver of time and become the new leader of the Devil Army. <laughs> I can't open the box yet until I speak with her. I feel so tired, can't keep my eyes open. The sliver of time, Tremis used to take my youth to drain me of the time I have left. I can't believe I trusted him. This is evil, powerful magic. Powerful magic needs powerful magic to undo. It's too much to hope for, but a powerful mage nearby who's willing to help me. The Twelve. I met a wizard of the Twelve named Vahir. Fenord. Back through a dimensional door on the rusty nail. to the last threads of life, Nell wheezes out. My only hope is the Twelve. Leave me here and bring back help. 
go quickly when I can still stay awake. There we go. Alright, folks, I'm actually gonna stop the recording here and then start another second part. Um, here we go.